You have a plug, coaxial plug for your antenna. You have a meter, which can meter your battery level or your signal level. If I have it on battery, and over here my machine is off, or external speaker or internal speaker, so if I put it on internal speaker, you can hear the background static. And right now I'm checking my battery level. If I turn it on signal, that will pick up the signal from the transmitter that's on the animal. I can also use the LED, either have the LED off, or I can use this LED up here to pick up the signal. So in this case, if there's no signal, we won't find anything. Frequency setting has to do with the frequency of the collar. In this case, we are collaring a pheasant. The sending unit is basically a very big watch type battery that powers a small transmitter with a magnetic switch on it. Once the magnet's on these two poles, it shuts it off. When it turns on, you just heard the beeping. Now we've got it so that the signal is being picked up and shown both on the LED blinking and the meter. Those two things can be very useful in helping you find the animal that you're tracking. We can turn it off either one of those. You'll see that now it's just monitoring the battery and there's no LED. But right now it's beeping at approximately one beep per second. If the animal sits for 24 hours and doesn't move, this transmitter will slow down and it starts to go into mortality mode. That way we can tell if the animal has been killed or died or the transmitter has been dropped. To find the frequency, all you have to do is dial it in. You'll notice 722 doesn't pick this up, neither does 6, but 822 will. And we can keep the signal on there. Now, if the animal is very close, you can move this dial to change the frequency. Or you can move this dial to change the gain. And you can drop out a little bit of the background noise. When the animal's close and you have a signal that's bouncing up on your meter up to the 10 area and it's very bright on the LED, you can use the attenuator to cut the signal strength down so that you can locate the animal easier and use the antenna for directional positioning. So when we turn the attenuator on, you'll notice we still have a signal, but it's much less than if we have the attenuator off. So this cuts our signal strength down on the receiver so that we're able to zero in on the animal better.